Hi there, pimp. Fleek here. Do you have 40 hours that you would like to light on fire in a rather inoffensive way? Do you like watching kids at school? Let me rephrase that. Do you like going to school and wand fighting with children? Were you actually able to stay awake during all the Henry Potter movies? Well, boy, do I have a huge offer for you. Hog. I was right, because I'm always right, never wrong, never been left in my life. Hogwarts Legacy is an extremely mediocre game that follows the same formula of all the other generic open-world fake RPG games that we've been getting wand-fed down our throats for the last five to ten years. And the success of this one is like a groundhog for suits popping out to tell all of us five more years of winter. Nonetheless, I still knew that this game would be hailed as fantastic, and I even knew that it would sell incredibly well. Just go and, uh publish those changes real quick. And you may be wondering how, Seven-Eyed Fleek, how? I'll tell you how, pimp. I looked up Assassin's Creed Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla's review scores and profits, then looked up the last time there was a Harry Potter game, and realized that those fans are so thirsty, I could wrap a piece of shit with a Harry Potter logo and call it Shitotamus, a Harry Pothead story, and at least squeeze a 6 out of 10 from them. And listen, Despite the fact that for some reason I do own a wand, it's big, it's black, and it's about 12 inches, I'll show it to you later, then I'll show you the wand. I don't care about this franchise, and not for any window-licking wired reasons. I don't like Harry Potter because honestly, I think it's very Bill and Frank. And honestly, if I'm looking for entertainment, going to school, playing with sticks, and talking to British children sounds like the last thing I would resort to. And I promise that I'm not saying all this because this stupid fucking hat called me a Hufflepuff. I'm an Aquafina your ass, you leathery piece of shit. Come find me after school. We'll see who's the Hufflepuff then. <clears throat> As I was saying, let's kick this off with the positives. The, the graphics are great, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they're no Lego Larry Potter years 1 through 4, but they're solid. I, I suppose to tag onto that point, the open world is not just the five shades of Albuquerque, New Mexico that was forespoken, even if 90% of the missions is just fantasy door dasher role playing. And additionally, the performance is surprisingly good. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice. Okay, surprisingly decent. Still, the spyware has nothing on that Chinese hot air balloon. And before we move on to the combat, I must say the drip the drip is simply stupendous. Now moving into the middling, I was dead right about the combat. Throwing around your wand does indeed look fabulous. I wish Bill and Frank were still around. They would have loved this wand fondling combat. As for me, I'm a man of the blade. And seeing as we we're in the UK, I'm not gonna lie, I was very disappointed to see your student doesn't at least get a pocket shank just in case the shit really goes down and they need a real man's weapon, not this wooden stick bullshit. What happened to becoming the wizard I wanted to be, W? You be? Be better! Now, I will concede I thought this combat was going to be about as smooth as a 1 megabytes McDonald's Wi-Fi connection, but I am pleasantly surprised to say it's at least Burger King Wi-Fi. They implemented the skill wheel in a way that isn't completely annoying to use. You're able to piece together combos decently, albeit boringly, and the unforgivables are the best spells in this game because you can combine them all together to avocado toast an entire village. Reminds me of my favorite spell. Napalmicus from Vietnamia. And my second favorite move is casting Lobotomus so I can walk up to trolls and touch our wands together. What do you call yours, big man? I call mine the Great White Hope. Now as for my problems with the combat, for starters, the whole Simon Says Red Now Throw the Whole Fucking Skill Book at Them approach it doesn't even get close to the stimulation provided by Magical Shuffleboard. And I could just stop right there, but I'm not. Because additionally, melee enemies are on skates, there are only a handful of enemy variants, bosses are just dumber, spongier versions of their grunts, not a special event, including the final boss. Only eight of the spells are unique and useful in combat. Where the hell is the water balloon or fire snake or liquid blast boost, and why the hell did you replace them with Crate and Bearless? And lastly, these AI don't just look lobotomized, they are lobotomized. Now let me just do a little quick on the field breakdown for you, Jim. Good aggression out of the gates, but then it all falls apart. As you can see on the screen, I dodge rolled into this goblin's nuts, but then does he attack immediately? Does he try to capitalize? No, he goes, let him cook. Then I cast fuck em up on his comrades, turning them into paste. Seconds later, this dickhead's out there in the backfield picking flowers until Ancient Toss pauses the battlefield, cause then he makes the tactical decision to stare at his other comrade, and, I, and I'll pause for a second because I know you're gripping your wand at home raging right now, saying, damn you, Fleek, you paused it, he's about to do something really intelligent, you just watch. As I was saying, he then runs a slant route away from the fight despite being a melee unit, and again we rub cheeks, but still, he chooses, instead of attacking 
forcing me to tactically stare at a wall for a while until the game despawns him and respawns him as soon as I look away from his new spawn point. What spell is that, WB? Being a dicketh? Still not convinced that the AI are completely moronical? Well, check this out. Instead of attacking, this one just tried to squeeze by me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I, I, I could go into more detail, but Wanted Dead's coming out soon, and that's gonna have dismemberment and busty anime women in it. So let's just get this shit finished, pimps. Next up, let's talk about the RPG elements. There aren't any. Following that, the side content. Reject dumbass stick racing and embrace shuffleboard. Other than that, the side missions are actually pretty fantastic. Here, here's a clip from my favorite one. I'll strip down out of this and we'll celebrate here in the ring. What do you say? Yeah, yeah no problem. Buddy. You got it. Get out of that, uh, jabroni outfit. I'll show you who's boss in this gym. Next up, let's head over to the psych ward to talk about the animations. I knew they were gonna be bad, but this is on a whole nother level. My guy has one fucking facial animation all the time. I'm done. And look at this chick. She goes from this very uncomfortable display of public emotion to- My pain is constant and sharp. And I do not hope for a better world for anyone. And as long as we're talking about faces, who cast Fugly Fucko on the water supply and poisoned the Hogwarts villain? Oh no, that's right, they're all British. They're, they're just being lore accurate, we can keep moving. Finally, let's talk about the story. I won't spoil anything because I can't remember anything. Anything except this. Ah, mm, mm, mm. uh, yeah. Mm. Bit older than the others, aren't you? And this. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. I'd be right happy to. About two hours into the five hour intro that had 20 minutes of collective combat, something in my brain just disengaged and it never re-engaged again. My point being, fuck you, guy on Twitter that tried to spoil me. I didn't even care to begin with. You know what, actually, I do remember one side quest line, though, and it's only because the guy with me was on a Kanye arc about the goblins. Don't click off the video. And as I was running full clip to each objective, he was just faintly in the background going, All I'm saying is, it's just interesting how so many of them run the fucking bank. I'll go ahead and stop that right there so the Ministry of Love doesn't cast Age Gaeth on me. I give this game a 5 out of 10. Go play a real man's game instead, like Pizza Towers.